And happening tomorrow, the candidates for the 22nd Congressional District face off in a debate at the Newhouse School. Yeah, and it's close to the public, but our political anchor Luke Radel will be in the room for us. He's here tonight to break down the latest in the toss-up race. Hey, Luke. Hey, guys. Ahead of that first debate, you might have seen some TV ads from this guy, Democrat John Mannion. Take a look. Here are the facts about Brandon Williams on abortion. Williams called overturning Roe v. Wade a monumental victory. He's part of a MAGA extremist group that proposed a national ban on abortion with no exceptions for rape, incest, or to save a woman's life. He even voted to send doctors who provide life-saving care to prison. Brandon Williams is a MAGA extremist trying to ban abortion in New York. I'm John Mannion, and I approve this message. So there's a lot to cover there. I want to take the next 90 seconds to review five claims that are made in that ad. Claim number one, the ad says that Brandon Williams celebrated the overturning of Roe v. Wade, and that's true. He called it a, quote, monumental victory in June of 2022, but also said that the issue should be, quote, sent back to the states, which connects to claim number two. On-screen graphics in the ad say that Williams has, quote, proposed a national ban on abortion. That's false. He's opposed to a federal ban on abortion. But if you listen to the ad, they say something slightly different. The group that he is, quote, a part of, of is has proposed a national ban on abortion and that is true it's the republican study committee which supports some federal restrictions but just because you're part of a group doesn't mean that you support everything that group stands for for example john Mannion is endorsed by the working families party which supports defunding the police so using his own ads logic you could say that Mannion's part of a left-wing extremist group that supports defunding the police but to say that Mannion has proposed that would be false Claim number three, on-screen graphics in the ad say that Brandon Williams wants, quote, no exceptions for rape, incest, or a woman's life. That's false. He has said that he supports those exceptions. Claim number four, if you listen to the ad, it says that Williams voted to send doctors who provide life-saving care to prison. But that's false. The bill, H.R. 26, would actually do the opposite. It only applies to doctors who don't provide life-saving care in the rare instances when an infant survives an attempted abortion. And finally, claim number five, the ad labels Williams, quote, a MAGA extremist who is trying to ban abortion in New York. And that claim, it's subjective opinion. It's up to you to decide after looking at the facts and maybe watching tomorrow night's debate, which candidate supports the things that you believe in. That's all the time I have for now, guys. Sending it back over to you.